Hello, friends. As I continue to create content for this channel, I have certain ideas that I believe will help me to interact with you more effectively. One of my new ideas, which I used in my last video, is to include what inspired me to make the video. As I iterate on these topics, I'll keep you updated on my plans. I've been thinking about making this video for a while now. The idea came from an occasion when I was dealing with heavy emotions related to my son's death during a very rough weekend. I may share more on this subject later. And I resorted to drinking as a coping mechanism, which is something I'd not done in decades. This was a once in a lifetime incident that left me inebriated. And later, I found myself in the company of someone I once trusted and valued. Regrettably, under the influence of alcohol and experiencing tremendous emotions, I shared some things I didn't clearly recollect. As the latter part of the evening was a total blur that I was never able to remember, which the other person regarded as a true depiction of my feelings on various matters. I vaguely recall saying that anything I shared while drinking didn't reflect my genuine feelings and that I was just drunk and emotional. The other person, however, insisted I was espousing my truest emotions and feelings while being inebriated. Well, you can imagine, that evening ended badly. Consequently, I was inspired to tackle the subject because as a former touring musician who'd witnessed countless alcohol-fueled and drug-induced interactions between other people, I was absolutely certain that alcohol couldn't provide a steady state within people in which they're suddenly sharing internal so-called truths that could be relied upon by anyone. So I eventually performed some investigation on the subject and discovered that my intuition was correct. This video will debunk the popular misconception that drinking alcohol reveals one's true intentions. And I'll present data to back it up. For decades, popular culture has held that drinking brings out a person's genuine emotions, their genuine feelings. And people frequently feel that when they drink alcohol, they become more honest and open, disclosing their true sentiments because of this myth. This notion, however, is completely incorrect. Alcohol affects a person's judgment and can often drive them to behave in ways that are contrary to their genuine nature. Before delving into the notion that drinking reveals a person's true emotions, it's important to understand how alcohol affects the brain and behavior. Alcohol, after all, is a central nervous system depressant that lowers cerebral activity. Alcohol intake has a number of undesirable effects, including exhilaration, diminished inhibition, poor judgment, and loss of coordination. These effects can help people feel more at ease and social, but they also can lead to poor judgment and impulsive actions. According to a study published in the journal Addiction, alcohol can impair memory and cause lapses in which people perform activities that they do not recall. State-dependent personality. The concept of state-dependent personality states that an individual's disposition, behavior, and personality can be altered by their current state, such as moods, hunger, tiredness, or when under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Consider these various states to be many different personalities. Individuals will feel and act differently if they are under the influence of alcohol, according to state-dependent personality theory, because they have essentially entered a new state with its own distinct underlying personality. According to research, drinking does not always show a person's true characteristics. Alcohol can momentarily modify a person's conduct and demeanor without revealing their fundamental core. According to state-dependent learning research, a person's mental state affects their capacity to acquire and recall information even while communicating with another person. Due to an altered mental state, the case for being able to tap into one's truest feelings becomes much weaker without real-time access to obtaining and retaining knowledge. Additional investigation. According to a 2007 study published in Substance Abuse, alcohol may increase aggressive responding regardless of the individual's baseline level of aggression. Alcohol can increase aggression and contribute to impulsive behavior and poor decision-making, which can lead to aggressive behavior, according to the findings of the researchers. 
The study concluded that alcohol does not reveal one's true feelings, but rather impairs one's judgment and inhibitions. Syed, in 1993, discovered that even moderate amounts of alcohol can impair the ability to accurately perceive and interpret emotional cues. This is research from the University of Pittsburgh. According to the study, alcohol can influence social behavior and lead to erroneous interpretations of emotional cues, which can lead to miscommunications and misunderstandings. Hardly sounds like we're dealing with truest emotions in this case. The researchers concluded that alcohol does not disclose an individual's true emotions, but rather induces out of character behavior. According to a 1997 study published in Addiction, alcohol can impair memory and lead to blackouts. People who experienced alcohol-related seizures were more likely to engage in reckless behavior and report negative consequences, according to the study. The researchers concluded that alcohol does not reveal an individual's genuine emotions, but rather leads to behaviors that are inconsistent with one's personality and values. Think about that it leads to behaviors that are inconsistent with one's personality and values. The widespread notion that drinking brings out a person's genuine emotions has been supported by popular culture for decades. As I've shown, this is a myth. While drinking alcohol briefly changes a person's behavior and demeanor, it doesn't show who they really are. Alcohol can create behavior that is contradictory with one's genuine nature and impaired judgment in social settings. Drinking might help people feel more at ease and sociable. It can also result in impulsive conduct and poor judgment. Alcohol can impair a person's ability to recognize and correctly interpret social and emotional cues. Intoxication causes people's traits to emerge disproportionately and unexpectedly, which results in actions that are blatantly out of character for them. And according to state-dependent personality, you're operating in this state under the guise of another personality altogether. For the sake of spontaneity and authenticity, it would be ideal if we could reveal our truest selves to those we value deeply. However, when such expression is not realistic due to being in an intoxicated state, perhaps the next best thing is to consider refraining from alcohol consumption, especially when in an emotional situation like a death or divorce or some other loss-based scenario. Because these situations are hard to navigate emotionally and conversationally when you're not drinking. Likewise, it's important to take popular cultural sayings and tropes like, alcohol reveals a person's true emotions with a grain of salt until you've done the research to confirm their accuracy. Because assuming or disrespecting where a person is in a moment of extreme vulnerability over a pop culture trope, is it good for you or for them? Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay healthy.